are seeing here in this hole is uh, the first application of a slot system that we can put in in the fall. We can take advantage of the water that's falling in the fall, our wintertime snows, spring rains. We're taking it off the surface, putting it into our bank, and that's what we call a, this type of a tool. It's a key. It opens the bank up, puts nutrition extremely deep into the soil. So as we see on this farm, where it's been dry all summer, we now have the capability of our roots four to five to six feet deep into a bank. They're down there drawing water very freely, uh, very little damage from uh, the drought so far. But we can see a big difference where the slots were put in and where they were not as far as the health of the lower leaves. The roots are much stronger. We saw virtually no wind damage on the side where the slots are. A lot of it on the opposite side uh, where there hasn't been slotted are weaker, they're tipping over. But above all, when we look at the girth of the ear, we're finding a much bigger, looks like about two more rows of corn on the zoned or the slotted side than on the side that hasn't been. So we'll identify how deep we need to run it. The tool is then run through this or below it so that the root mass eventually we'll get there, but right up front we want the slots put in so that we can accomplish water retention, oxygen development, and bacteria and microlife. They all use oxygen also. And if we only have enough oxygen up here so that they can survive, this is all the soil we're using. So if we can simply create a vehicle to start it deeper into the soil, the biodigestion system grows very, very rapidly. The idea is that there is a potential of 600 bushel per acre out of a bag of seed corn. Francis Childs has proven that to us. But in the real world here, in virtually different types of soil from one end of the country to the other, we have to have a system in which we can use our oxygen, get our water deep, develop more microlife and bacterial life deep into the soil and do it in a manner that we as farmers can handle. That, again, we call a zone builder. From that is the nutritional value of placing nutrition under the roots where that root wants to grow very freely. At 300 PSI, a root begins to minimize its travel and it slows down and virtually stops. So if we can create an environment where it never stops, it grows deep, it grows laterally, but we found that when we place the nutrition within that rapid root growth, not broadcasted, but concentrated underneath the plant, that we can grow more bushels with less input and a lot less water. We've proven that over the years by the effects of looking at aspiration off the leaves. When the plant has not nutriently fed correctly and he has to hunt and gather, and roots only intercept about 2% of the soil structure. So when it's hunting and gathering, it's still drawing water through to get nutrition. A plant has to drink, it doesn't chew, it has to suck and drink its nutrition. So it's just drawn in lots and lots of water, and when that water isn't nutriently rich, then it takes more to do that. So we found again, in years and years of research, that if we place that nutrition underneath the root mass, we can grow more crops with less water and less input. Very simple process, nothing complicated at all about it. It's just something that it made a lot of sense. And we as farmers need to ask, what if? What if we could hold the water where it falls and on uneven terrain? We're now growing just as good a crop on top of the hills as we do in the bottoms because we have trapped the water. As far as it can move would be 30 inches, drops into our zone, goes into our bank, and then moving on from that. The crux of the whole issue is that we are now developing a major biodigester. We're no longer farming 8, 10 inch of our soil, we're farming 5, 6, 10 feet of our soil. The bacteria, the earthworm development, it's just thousands of things that are put together that makes a world of difference. And it's just a very, very pleasurable thing to watch a new farm take a hold with the concept and see the results from it.